Hi everybody, uh, this is Samit Kumar and I welcome to Listen's Tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you a new concept in ClickSense that was not earlier there in ClickView called Storytelling. Storytelling is an excellent way for representing the dashboard or KPIs in a way of a presentation or a PPT. So let's see. Here ClickSense provides a solution called Story. In this, we can create a customized presentation. Suppose in your dashboard we have hundreds of objects, but you can extract the cream objects or the, uh, the some of the objects which can be demoable uh, to the client and create another standard presentation which will completely give you an illusion of a PPT, a PowerPoint presentation. So let's see here we have this option i created this sheet i do have multiple dashboards i would extract few things not all the objects i'd like to create some beautiful uh, you know, stories or presentation to my clients so i would take only few beautiful objects which is make more sense so from the beginning i would uh, like to take some kpis these are all the kpis we will take and some of the objects we will take from the different different dashboards uh, we will take one or two objects and we will create the presentations so they are in the ppt uh, like presentation in the storytelling we don't uh, need uh, these filters, we just need to have the, uh, you know, presentations like informative uh, things, no analytics over there, only visual analysis will be there. So, for storytelling, what we need uh, here, go to storytelling, you see, the screen is exactly look like a PowerPoint presentation screen, right, in a PPT. We can add multiple slides over here. Add slide, and the slides will be created in ClickSense. And we have various objects, various objects like a text, some of the standard, uh, you know, all shapes. We can have also customized shapes. We have to upload that, and then some of the effects, just like PowerPoint. We do have some animations. Here also we can have some effects just to have a better uh, presentation or a intuitive uh, way for the representation. And then that's the picture library, that's a media library, and this is a sheet library. So we can directly also add our entire sheet to the storytelling, despite of adding individual object as well. So I will add a few slides with the individual or customizable uh, dashboard, customizable slides, and I would also add one or two slides uh, to capture the entire sheet of a dashboard. So let's see. So before we move on, we have this slide, uh, and before we move on to add any dynamic object, we have to first create snapshots. Here we have a concept called a snapshot. Now, what we understand with a normal snapshot, it is just like a screenshot, right? A picture or a static picture. But the snapshot library is something which will give you a dynamic picture concept. That means if you take a snapshot of a particular chart, the chart will not, uh, you know, completely look like a picture. It will give you the tooltip information over here. So it will look like a dynamic chart. Okay. So that will be more intuitive and more uh, attractive to understand over here. So I don't have anything in the snapshot library. I have to first go to my dashboard and then create some of the snapshots and come back here. All right. So let's go to the sheet and in the first sheet, we do have all these objects. So I basically uh, cannot uh, create the snapshots on few objects, but on few objects I can create. 
So these filters are not uh, filters are not required over there. But here this is the image. I can also have a snapshot of this. Here you have to go to this. Uh, you have to just play it uh, in this uh, run mode. From here, I want to take this as a snapshot. How do I take it? Click here. Here we have this option storytelling, storytelling snapshot. Add this, take snapshot or snapshot library. There are two options are there. So I have just taken the snapshot on this. Same way, I have to create the snapshot on each object. So just go to storytelling snapshot, take a snapshot. You can see this, uh, you know, camera icon. You have to click on this, and if you want to save uh, with certain uh, nomenclature, you can also give. Otherwise, simply save it. That's it. Typically, I can just take a snapshot of each object which I want to be represented over there. That's it. These are my uh, snapshots for the KPIs. Now I would like to have this month wise uh, revenue, not all objects I will take, but few objects I will take. This one and then this year wise quarter, year and quarter wise sales. Then this one I can also take. So some of the remarkable objects I will take which can be useful for their representation first order to the bottom yeah here so you have to go from the beginning now this is my image i would just add this as a logo of the client i can take up this same way i'll go to bottom and pick up this statistics so it doesn't mean that the way we have represented in the dashboard, in the storytelling also, we have to represent the same. It might be vary, it might be a, a your way, whenever you want to do the, uh, you know, whenever you want to present the data, it might be as per your uh, different requirement. So that might vary. Not because that was a dashboard and this is the presentation so definitely it should be different so and that's why I'm making it a little bit different so here things are being locked you can also all lock it and then you can squeeze it you cannot uh, unlock it you, you cannot do anything if you do not unlock it So it's responsive, completely responsive. Now these data are you know shown in a horizontal uh, orientation here. Locking is better whenever you don't want to do any changes on this. You, if you don't uh, allow anybody to change it, so you can better lock it. And same way, this one also, I am not able to, you know, stretch it more because it's being locked. So you can unlock it and see the icon is more prominent now. We have the different icons. All right, now let me add uh, some items in this part. So from here, I'll just take it up. Maybe that would be different uh, because it's a presentation. I'll make it different, uh, the charts along with the presentations.
I've taken this as this portion and this portion and this right side and left side. I just want to make some, you know, this uh, text paragraph. You can just drag a paragraph over here and uh, write something about it. This chart uh, shows monthly revenue. Okay, I have written something can be uh, hidden month. Okay. So it's up to your requirement, whatever you can write it. It's up to you. And then I will just uh, mark that this is all about this objects. It will be. I just have one more arrow object which will give the insight about it. So I do have this uh, map, so if you just there are multiple slides here. It's moving like a PPT. But it, it can also have the tool tips. So for analysis, we can do the analysis over here because it's a, a snapshot, but partial information can be shown on these in form of a tool tip. Now I would like to add an entire sheet into this uh, storytelling. So let's how can I add it here? I just have to select the seed uh, library and from any library whichever the data you want you can simply add in this so i want the matrix report which was the beautiful report i'll simply add this so additional slide has been added so when you add something from the sheet library uh, it is not performing like a normal snapshot you can have further analysis on this you can select it or you can do any dynamic you know, uh, slicing and dicing over here. So let's play it. Suppose from here I'll move. This is a normal uh, snapshot over here. I can see the tool tips, right? Here I can see the tool tips. Uh, the data is, is, is populating over here. And then when I move on to this next uh, sheet, it takes a little time as compared to the snapshot because snapshots is completely buffered over here. Here it is, uh, not a snapshot uh, or exactly, it's a sheet uh, object which has been added over here from the sheet library and uh, you can just click on this. I hope you would have liked this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Stay connected. Bye-bye.